Local 5 proudly presents local African-American icons celebrating black history. We're shining a spotlight on the people of our community who go above and beyond to make a difference every day and are creating a lifetime worth of change. The following is sponsored by My Brother's Keeper, Mail Mentoring. Now, your hosts, Tom Zalaski and Michelle McCormack. Good evening, thank you for joining us for Local 5's our special African American Icons Honoring Black History Month. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Michelle McCormack. You know, February has a lot of celebrations such as Valentine's Day, President's Day. One thing America celebrates all month long is Black History Month. But black history was not celebrated in the past. It was often overlooked and ignored. Here is how Black History Month was created. American history is not something that should be relegated to a month. The month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time to recognize their role in U.S. history. Carter G. Woodson and Jesse E. Moreland founded what is now known as the Association of the Study of African American Life and History and sponsored a National Negro History Week in 1926. He's responsible for the creation of the Negro History Week that we now celebrate as Black History Month. They chose the second week of February for a reason. It represented the birth months of not only Abraham Lincoln, but Frederick Douglass two individuals with whom he admired much. So he selected the month of February in order to honor black history. By the 1960s, Negro History Week had evolved into Black History Month on many college campuses. And then in 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized February as Black History Month to quote, seize the opportunity to honor the two often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. So now that we know the backstory on Black History Month, let's get into our first African-American icon. Governor Evers made history when he recently appointed the first African-American judge in Winnebago County. Local 5's Rhonda Fox talks with Judge Lakeisha Hayes and brings us her amazing story. When someone says, good morning, judge, I pause because I'm like, wow, they're actually speaking to me. I am judge. Since the first shovel of dirt was turned on this courthouse in 1937, no black has served as a judge in Winnebago County until Governor Evers appointed Lakeisha Hayes. I'm absolutely just humbled that he would even have the confidence in me um, to do what I believe is such an important job and an important role for not only the state of Wisconsin, um, but Winnebago County. I think it's incredibly important to make sure that we diversify uh, the bench. It is uh, extremely important that we lead as a state and we bring in qualified people uh, who understand the gravity of the decisions that they're going to be making. Being a wife and mother of two has added another dimension to this Marquette Law School grad, the human element which drew the attention of Hayes' former boss. When my law partner and I wanted to increase our firm and grow, the first attorney who always came to mind was Lakeisha. She's really going to care about the law, caring about making the right decision, and you know, Winnebago County, I think, definitely needs another perspective on the bench, and she's going to be able to provide that. Hayes brings a unique outlook on the law because her walk to the bench started by overcoming adversity. I grew up in the projects of Chicago. It was nothing that I think at the time I ever thought was possible, that there are certain roles and professions for certain people, and black people may not fit into those, and I'm happy to, to show that that's not the case. It's important that we have uh, people who are actually sentencing people uh, who share experiences of those who come before them. I think it's going to be that fresh perspective that, that the community 
definitely needs down in Winnebago. Judge Hayes says her rulings will hold people accountable and hopes her words transform lives. People walk away from this process feeling like this is going to define them for the rest of their lives, and it doesn't have to. Where you are today does not mean or define where you will be in the future. In Oshkosh, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. Rhonda Fox, we thank you for spotlighting Judge Lakeisha Hayes. You know, and the one interesting thing, Tom, is that the judge told Rhonda, of course, I vow to be fair and impartial, but I truly want to make an impact on Winnebago County. And that she will. Yeah. Before we go to break, we want to test your knowledge on black history. Yeah, throughout this show, uh, we're going to have three questions for you to answer. All these questions are about black history in the Badger State. Okay, so here's the first question. How many historically black college and or universities are located in Wisconsin? Is it A, zero, B, two, C, five, D, six? We'll give you some time to think about it and have the answer after the break. Black History Month means for me, it's a time to pause and take into consideration the, in, the impact that um, black Americans have had on, on our culture here. I think it's, it's a way that our, our country recognizes the value of a multicultural society and knowing that we can't infuse every single inch of what's been happening into everything, it's an intentional way to remember that the work has been done and being done. 